So when you ask yourself as a man, what is my destination? Then you know what decisions to make. You are a man, whether you are a virgin or you're not. Sleeping with women doesn't make you a virgin. I know some websites, not that I use them, where you can call women tonight and get rid of that virginity. <laughs> doesn't make you a man. It doesn't. Afiz Baoku is right. What makes you a man are your self-confidence, self-respect, self-awareness, self-accountability, self-worth, and self-sustainability. At some point later in the future, I will elaborate. Once you get into that space where you need validation and engage in approval-seeking behavior, you might as well add W.O. to that to become a woman. By that, I mean no disrespect to women. I'm talking strictly within the context of individual level romantic and personal relationships, not community-wide fake-ass solution rhetoric designed to just point fingers all day. If you are a male human, I mean all types of disrespect if you receive this as that because it means I am hitting the right nerves respectfully. Again, your need for my validation of you and your insecurity are evidence of lack of self-respect. You might as well get off this video because you are probably not going to like what I'm about to say. For example, on the last Father's Day, I found out later that a bunch of men decided to gather online to complain about those who are not celebrating Father's Day as opposed to focusing on appreciating those who do. Don't you gentlemen know that whatever you focus on simply expands regardless of your intentions, be it negative or positive? But like Afiz said, what is the destination? What is your desired outcome? I want to share an advice that, that Afiz gave to me personally because I think you will find value in it. He's younger than me, I think, but he has results that I think I desire. So I have no other choice but to humble myself and get blessed. And I did. But before we get into this advice, let's review a few more clips from the roommates and Afiz Baoku within YouTube's fair use guidelines and extract some cool lessons. This is an interview he did with Dr. Jordan Peterson. Some of you may be offended here, but let's take the chance. So something else I've been hearing Dr. Peterson, a lot of, a lot of young men feel as though the average woman has no desire for the average male and that because of things like social media, online dating, things along those lines, as well as just some of the female empowerment where a lot of women have a, an elevated sense of self. Just think about it. The self-defeating mentality that goes into a man feeling this way, even if right. Listen, it's not a matter of right and wrong. Just think about for a second as an exercise, but let's continue. That, that, that mm -hmm. now they feel like they're above a lot of these average males, which also contributes to a disparity between young adults being able to connect and form meaningful relationships. Yeah, well, men, women are more picky in their mate choices than men, especially sexually. That, that's the case in every culture. It's, and it's not surprising because women have more at stake sexually than men do you know, per episode, because men don't get pregnant, obviously. Now, let's think about what would make this reality a surprise to any man. Also, what would make a man want to deny this reality and attempt to create another version? If this is reality for literally every man, how could this be a downside for any man in a global society where everything is linked together with the internet and technology? I can only think of one thing, a three-word phrase, a you problem, aka a personal problem. Sure, a few men are complaining about the same things. It's likely be it's because you've ended up in an echo chamber somewhere. I guarantee you there's a whole world of awesomeness outside of the pain of your past experiences and that echo chamber. I know because I've been there, done that. Let's continue. And these are sizable books. They are minimal 200 pages. Uh, you can download them absolutely for free. Uh, by simply going to, for example, this one, you just go to getmymarriageback.com, smartrealestatewholesaling.com, uh, realestatemoneysecrets.com. So yes, I am a three times author. Those books are out there for your for your consumption, and they are also available everywhere on Amazon, anywhere that you pick up books. So in case you prefer a physical book like that. If you're irritated at women, you know, as a class of creature, there's something wrong with you because they're right. You're wrong. They're right. 
to not pick you. If they're not picking you, it's because they're right. I'm guessing that you think that was harsh, but that's the good news. This is another thing a man should learn and accept as the ultimate truth. There will never be gain without pain. Pain is only bad when you get stuck in the rage of awareness of the pain. But when you take the initiative and time to heal, it's so peaceful and beautiful on the other end. But I agree that it's easier said than done. But nonetheless, worth it. I agree that if you're irritated by women, not to be conflicted with your ability to admit to that, but evident by a few people telling you that you come off as irritated by women, you got a serious psychologically based problem. Evident by the fact that you're having a hard time to agree to it. The market does not lie. Your audience are right and you are wrong. What do you expect from women? If you got pregnant because you had sex, you'd be pretty damn choosy too. <laughs> so, you know, clue in a bit and then, well, don't they find you attractive? Well, maybe you're not. You cannot be angry at women. It's stupid. Women, it's like, that's, it's like women being angry at men. It's, it's a sign of psychological trouble. Exactly. Some of you run around all the red pill community you can find online, but then the exact thing you hate the most is the literal meaning of truth, which is one, reality of the modern times. Two, the results you've created. If you're in denial about these two things, especially when it comes to career, dating, relationships, marriage, parenting, and business, you end up creating more suffering in yourself and others. What you are fighting is not women. You're fighting the divine femininity when you are supposed to be bringing your divine masculinity to create a fulfilled and fun-filled life. And nothing good ever comes out of arguing with divine femininity. Instead, you chase it further away from you. Here are a few more clips. What else are you going to do? Complain about women? You're so dumb that you don't even know that you shouldn't badmouth your wife. And you do so, so much less harm if you look to yourself first. And I'm just picking on that because it's a real overgeneralization. It's not helpful. Yeah. You have to particularize your problem. Why can't men find women to date? That's not your problem. Your problem is mm. why you can't find the woman you want. Yeah. And you, you have to assume that's your problem because otherwise you have to assume that it's the women's problem. And yeah. really? They're all wrong and you're right. Really? Hmm. Lucky you. Maybe you are. You're an undiscovered gem of some sort. Probably not. <laughs> all right. So I reached out to Afiz to ask him for an interview by DM on Instagram. When we hit 300 subscribers, he asked me how many episodes of the podcast have I done? We, we don't really count in episodes here. At the time, I've done 874 podcasts in total, but only 19 episodes associated with the Men of Prestige phase. Then he said, hit me up after episode 52. We are probably up to 35 or so right now, but it, it, I don't really track that. I, need, I needed the advice in order to stay focused long term. I'm only tracking the click-through rates and engagement levels of these videos. If you can read at all at an emotional level, that advice was simply to focus on my mission, the destination, and my desired outcome. While highly appreciated, the outcome is never one interview with a behemoth content creator like Afiz Baoku from The Roommates. The destination is to get this message to you over and over again for positive impact. Every additional good things you want is probably a byproduct of your focus level.